Uh, right, let's uh, let's get cracking, shall we? So Chelsea then, uh, as the the next opposition, what's your assessment of them right now? Um, I think they've had a little resurgence um, lately. They they played well against Wolves, I believe, and I think they got the most passes, didn't they? Also, and so no little resurgence. They played well last night. Um, so now again, it's it's another tough one. It's another really tough one for us. It's a fixture that invokes a lot of happy memories for, for Sheffield United. The draw uh, down at Stamford Bridge and the, the really resounding victory at Bramall Lane. Yes, of course, there was a defeat at the bridge earlier this season, but can you take something from the earlier fixtures? Um, a little bit, maybe, and maybe a little bit of confidence, but um, it's gone now. You know, it was last season. Um, we were really, really disappointed with our performance earlier in the season. I think that's one of maybe only a couple of games this season where we w wasn't really ourselves um, and they really got the better of us so no, looking to looking to put put that right this time round However things are happening for Sheffield United now aren't they, you know the victory at New against Newcastle, Manchester United West Brom the other day what do you think's changed or is now happening that maybe wasn't when you did play Chelsea um, I think we've just got, got a bit of belief back at the minute um, we're looking a bit more like ourselves. Uh, the fluidity is a little bit better. Um, you know, getting down both flanks a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit quicker. Um, we're defending a little bit better, and, and, we're, and we're putting chances away, which we went into the start of the season. So, no, we we can we can take that into to the weekend. How would you sum up levels of belief that you you can stay up this year? There's there's a little bit of hope. Um, it's going to be really, really, really tough, but you know, there's, there's, there is a little bit of hope there. Um, so you know, we, we we put ourselves into this position. We're just going to have to fight and, and try and get ourselves out. Can you quite believe it? I mean, from being a, a ninth place team, top ten team last season, to just well, all sorts of things conspiring against you, and with that, the dip in performance this year. No, definitely, it's it's been a frustrating one because. At times we've we've had good performances and and just lost narrow games really. Whereas last year we we won them narrow games um, or got a, or got a point. So it's it's been quite a frustrating one because although results haven't been going our way, the, the performance levels hasn't been too far off really. Is what it what it was. It, it's been quite tight. As I said, there was only there's only been a couple of games where we haven't been ourselves and we've been really hard on ourselves and um, looking back on them games. So. Thankfully, we, we've revived a little bit late, a little bit lately, but we just need to continue it. How important in those times then does does character become? You know, the the dressing room. We've all spoken about it with you and the rest of the lads uh, over the course of yeah three or four year period now. Really, it wouldn't be uncommon in football when results turn that dressing rooms kind of fracture a little bit, but you guys haven't. No, no, um, we we we've turned it around a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Coming. The start of the season, it was tough for everyone. The, the, the bad results built up and built up and built up, and once that pressure builds, it's tough. It really, is tough going into games when you know that pressure's there to win one. So, thankfully, we got that, got that first win out the way um, last last year uh, in 2020. So, going into this 2021, the last remaining games, now we can we can really try and push on it and build. What about you? Uh, a goal would be nice. We saw you hit the net five or six times last year. Yeah, yeah, another one that's been really frustrating for me. I've been getting in some really good positions still. I'm getting in them positions to score, but I've just missed a couple of big chances really this season that would have kick-started me. Um, I think the start of the season, obviously the penalty against Villa and Mesley, I made a massive save um, in the Leeds game at home. So I think if one of them goes in, it really kick-starts me. And I've had a few other big chances as well that I haven't quite put away. Um, which has been really frustrating for me, really. I've been quite hard on myself. But no, the most important thing is still getting in them positions and, and trying to trying to get one. It's quite an Im Im important kind of psychological thing, isn't it? Yeah, being hard on yourself, but maybe, you know, kind of giving yourself a break, because if you're all kind of thinking about it all the time, it definitely won't help. No, again, yeah, definitely, as I said, just, just trying to get myself in them positions still. Um, and I am still getting in them positions, which is, which is a good sign. Um, I've had, a, I've had a few chances lately, not so clear cuts as, as a, a few I've had earlier on in the season, but I'm still getting in there, so so I've just got to keep keep doing that and believe in one will, one will come my way. Just finally from me, and you perhaps know this type of thing's coming, where, where are you at with the, the contract thing? Are you, are you going to sit down and talk anytime soon about that? 
it's just it's the same situation, mate. Everyone's, everyone's still on the table um, for Everton. So, essentially, you're not ruling out the possibility of staying next season? No, no, the, the Everton's still on the table, so we'll see what happens. Because it's become quite the, the backdrop, I suppose, to your season. I mean, you're, you've not been talking about it, I suppose, but the fan base kind of does, and they want to know where, where your head's at. No, of course, of course, it's, it's bound to happen, um, you know, but I'm here, and, I'm, and while I am here, I'm, I'm committed. Um, as, you, as you'll see in my performances, and I'm always 100, 110%. Um, no one, no one could ever question my commitment. And while I'm at the club, um, who knows what had happened? But while I'm at the club, you know, I'll always give everything.